I started to look at the filmmakers that were in the cinemas at that time. And I especially remember one uh, film that I went to when I was in my second grade on that, on that school, on The Bachelor. And it was Code Unknown by Mikkel Haneke. And uh, uh, the feeling that I had of that screening uh, of this film, because I feel it was such a humanistic approach to all the characters in this film. He was taking them all very seriously. He was trusting me as an audience. Uh, it's not a, 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 like a straight plot or anything like that. It's, it's more, how to say, fragmented. And uh, it's not 100% sure how these fragments are connected together. And he trusted in the audience in such a way that I had to be on my toes through the whole screening. I have to try to understand where is it taking me? What is going to happen now? And, and what is it in these scenes that are important, uh, important for, the, for the broader concept? And then it's one of the scenes in this film where the character that is played of Juliette Binoche, she's going on, a, on the metro, on a subway. And it's two young men that starts to, you know, they, they, are, they are like trying, they are harassing her. They are, they are doing something uh, uh, that is making it scary for her to be on this subway. And it's a scene that is maybe around... I think it's around seven minutes long or something, and you really follow the scenario. You get the feeling of being in one of these subway carriages. And uh, uh, the presence and the feeling and the suspense in that scene uh, made it exhausting also to watch to watch it. Yeah. Mm. Um, and it was something with the whole experience of Code Unknown. So when, when the film was finished and... And I, I was supposed to leave the cinema. Uh, uh, it was the feeling of a before and after when I had watched that movie. And, and uh, the feeling that I wanted to pick up every trash uh, after me in the cinema. I didn't want to leave anything for someone else to take care of. Uh, uh, and and it, was, it was a huge inspiration for me. And, and I, I still think about that film quite often. And I, I think about Mikkel Haneke's approach when it comes to, to the audience. And I think about the, the kind of suspense he have managed to create in that movie and many of his other movies. But that was really the moment where I felt, okay, fiction movies is maybe something that I want to work with. Yeah. Uh, because that, before that point, I thought that I maybe would uh, make documentaries. But that point was like, okay, I had such a powerful experience of that movie. I think it was... Um, it was definitely the approach that I felt that he trusted me as an audience and that he wanted me to reflect over the content. He wanted me to ask myself questions. And uh, uh, he wanted me to create something that I also had, pro had to process after I've left the cinema. So, I mean, Mikkel Haneke is not a, a filmmaker that is wrapping everything up and like, hey, now you can leave it behind. You, you can come back to his movies and sometimes ask yourself, why did he do that? And what, what, what was the decision that he, he did that? And uh, Code Unknown um, also starts with a very beautiful shot of, uh, it's a group of young uh, people that have a hearing disability. So they are talking in sign language and they do like a kind of charade. They are like trying to imitate something and the other people in the group are, are guessing what, what are they imitating and uh, uh, these scenes are, are framing the film of Code Unknown in, in such a beautiful way so he, he's very interested in that kind of elements I feel and, and uh, I thought it was uh, it was something that just left me with something that was a bigger feeling or a bigger experience of the cinema than than the cinema in itself. It, it connected me with some problems or some questions about society and the outside world. And uh, yeah, it just activated me as a, as a viewer. And of course, when you started to be a fi feature filmmaker and I made my first feature films, the goal was in some ways that one day maybe you will have a premiere of one of your films in Cannes in competition. And uh, because that's where were your heroes were showing their films. Uh, and so, so for me, that was the big step. For me, that was like, okay, uh, now I'm actually uh, participating in this world where, where, where all the directors that I look up to are presenting the films.